Today we are going to talk about United States coins. For the purpose of this video, I'll give a brief overview of their attributes or how to identify them. Of the four coins shown, the penny is the only one that is copper in color. It has a smooth edge. The value of the penny is one cent. The remaining coins are silver in color. The nickel is larger than the penny. Like the penny, it has a smooth edge. It is worth five cents. The dime is the smallest of these coins. It has ridges around the edge. It has a value of 10 cents. The quarter is the largest of the set. Like the dime, it has ridges. It is worth 25 cents. You'll notice that I didn't talk about the images that are on the coins. This is because you will see different ones on the back, or what is sometimes referred to as the tail side of the penny, nickel, and quarter. When we want to figure out the value of a set of coins, we can skip count by 25s, 10s, 5s, and 1s. For some students, switching the number that you are skip counting by is confusing. Using touch points can help. Each of the green touch points is skip counted by 5s. As long as you know where the touch points belong, you can arrange the silver coins in any order. The pennies should be counted last. The red line means that it is time to stop counting by fives and start counting on by ones. When writing the value of the coins, there are two ways that we can do this. The more advanced way is to use the dollar sign and place value, including the use of a decimal point. The other way is to write the number followed by the cent sign. Either way is acceptable, although at times you might be asked to record your answer a certain way. Let's try calculating the value of a few sets of mixed coins. Remember to skip count by fives for each of the green touch points. Five, 10. To keep track of your skip counting, it is helpful to write the amount under each coin as you go. This way, if you make a mistake, you don't need to go all the way back to the beginning. Just return to the last coin. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Remember that the red line means to stop counting by fives and start counting on by ones. 46. So the value of this set of coins is 46 cents. Let's look at another set of coins. Remember to count the green touch points by fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Now stop and count on by ones. 51, 52, 53. So the value of this set of coins is 53 cents. For more practice, use this resource to draw touch points onto coins. Once you've memorized where they belong, try calculating the value of a set of real coins.